Here's the Nazi story. We surrender, it says. Please don't shoot. And Frenchmen go in for the capture. Material damage is insignificant. It's a small price for the end of Nazi tyranny. But even as the French colors rose in triumph, the Nazi broke his sworn word. He counterattacked. Added to his treachery was this evidence of his bestiality, left behind within the gates of Paris. But today, with the Allies on the threshold of German soil, the memory of these guiltless men and women is too fresh to be forgotten. Promise has been given that the criminals responsible for these and countless other crimes are to be punished without exception. The crowds that cheer their freedom did so with four harsh years behind them four vividly remembered years. At the moment, however, before they face the sobering years of reconstruction, they can think of nothing but this glorious moment of liberation. The popular General Leclerc leads his relieving armored division past the Liberty Statue. They came to turn the tide of the treacherous Nazi counterattack, and they came at a dramatic moment in time to assure the victorious conquest of the resistance forces. <laughs> Bullets again interrupt the jubilance, but only for a moment. Amid such scenes of delirious contrast did Paris finally find deliverance. The home of freedom is once again the home of free men. The Battle of Paris has been won, and the victorious end of the Battle of Europe is at hand. <laughs>